Hey, so what's going on guys? So I have another unboxing video here I wanted to share with you guys. This is the HP OfficeJet Pro 8610 AIO or all-in-one printer. It's wireless, it faxes, it scans, it copies, pretty much has all the features I need. This thing was on sale for $79.99 at Staples and I think it retails for like uh, $199 or something like that. And when you get your printer and stuff, it comes with the software. Now one thing with this software is this software has probably been sitting in the box for as long as the printer has been sitting on the shelf. So what I recommend you do is go to HP, you can go to Google and type in HP support and then you can go to HP's website from there and download the latest drivers for whatever operating system you have. I have Windows 10, so that's what I will do. I am going to go ahead and pull the stuff out and try to assemble this thing quick. So let's get this out of the box. Everything is wrapped. There is a um, power cord that it comes with. Looks like it comes with a phone. Uh, phone line for the fax part of it. That looks like the duplexer that plugs into the back of the printer. And the ink, here's the ink guys, that's right on top. Um, I know that when I was looking at this, uh, you can actually get this as like a bundle and it's about $150 if you get the entire bundle of the ink cartridges. There's not much to these uh, ink cartridges. There's nothing on the bottom. I think these ones just plug right in by the color codes. And there is the black one. There's the number, 950. And the all the colored ones are 951. So now they have this thing wrapped pretty good in a plastic bag. Let's see if we can set this big bad boy out there. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's not a light printer. It's pretty heavy. So let me go ahead and start peeling off all the tape. Now this screen right here guys actually comes out and lifts up. That's all it does. There's a little wireless light that turns on here. That flips down. Let's see, there is the uh, paper tray which has some cardboard in there. So let me spin this thing around. We'll plug this duplexer in. Anytime you get paper jams or something like that, you can always take this thingy out. It just pops in the back. Okay, it should probably just pop in there. I don't think there's any tape, no. No tape in there. This should just snap in right into the back. Over here on this side, you have where you can hook your, for your um, phone line for your, let's see. There's an extension, there's a line, that's all for your fax, your network. There's a power button down here in the corner. All you gotta do, I guess, is just hit that. There we get our screen popping up. Um, I guess you just touch for English, click continue. I'm in the USA. That is my country or region. It says set the printer, connect to the network, and I'm not gonna do that right now, review the demo, I'll do that later. Set the date, and that is today's date. I'll set the time later, so I'm just going to go through that part of it, guys. I can hear it already running, doing a few things. It says initializing setup. Install automatic two-sided print accessory duplex that came with it. I already have that in there. Install the cartridges that came with the printer. So in order to do that, you just pop down that door, and you can see that the ink cartridge holder comes right over and I'll zoom in here for you guys. Really with these things, it's just color coded. You can see down there the, the colors. All you gotta do is match those up with like, you know, the circle of the color at the bottom. And they just simply, they slide in there. They're, it's kind of like fail proof. As long as you kind of hear them click in place and then for the black cartridge, Put that in there. It also recognizes at this point that it has genuine cartridges in it. Got some paper here. Just gonna put the paper in the paper tray. Load paper in, input tray, select next. Okay, so it's preparing paper. Let's see what happens. Okay guys, so you can see it printed out a piece of paper already. 
already printing and working just fine. It's gone through its calibrating and doing things it needs to do to set itself up. So we'll wait here a minute till it's done. Alignment has been completed successfully. Tells me to visit HP. It says thank you for choosing HP. So there you go, guys. You can see that you have your choices right here. You can scroll through here like that. This is all, you know, touch screen. Um, you can, there's apps you can get on here. If you click that, it takes you back to home. You can set up right there your fax, uh, you know, your scanner. Actually, if you go in under the scanner, you can plug in, it looks like a memory device there, which would be like a USB or flash drive or something. Uh, there's network folder, uh, email. Basically, we can return to the uh, previous screen. You slide through here. Um, you can go to photo, connect a USB or storage device to the USB port, which is down there in the front of the printer. And if you go to setup, you have in here printer setup, and that's where you can set your your stuff later on, like your screen brightness, um, all that stuff in there. Sound of sound effects and volume, it has all that. Uh, faster browsing. Let me click back. Go into network setup. And here's where you'd set up your wireless. You can actually restore your network defaults there if you run into any issues and set up your security and all that. Web services are not enabled on here. I'm just going to tell that no. Uh, tray setup. You can tell it what tray to use. Uh, power management. You can have this thing in sleep mode or schedule certain things and times or whatever. Tools. Uh, it shows you your, you know, ink, ink low, warning levels, clean print head. If you go in under tools, this is where you can clean, um, do a cleaning task on the printer, like calibrate it, align the print heads, clean them. Um, let's see. Restore factory defaults. So there you can reset your printer if you run into issues or the screen here freezes up on you. There's print reports and all that good stuff. So there's a little bit of the touch screen, guys. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to connect this printer to your wireless router at home using the touch screen. The light to the wireless is actually, the wireless or the Wi-Fi is turned on the printer and that's why the light's flashing, but it's flashing because it's not connected to the wireless router yet. So for those of you who don't know, and I apologize for those of you who do know, because most of us have wireless internet in our homes, um, some people still don't have wireless and they don't understand this does not connect directly to the computer, but it connects to the wireless router. And that would be like a wireless modem provided by your internet provider or like something you buy at the store, like a Linksys router, a Netgear router, maybe a Belkin router, something like that. So you got to have a router in your home and you have to have Wi-Fi set up in your house already in order to connect to your wireless router now. So what you want to do here first is there's like a little antenna looking thing there about in the middle. You just want to select that. There you'll see the IP. There's no IP address. This is not connected. Network name, nothing. It says not because it's not connected. So what we want to do is touch this little gear and we don't want ethernet settings that's for a wired um, ethernet and what you want to choose is wireless settings and you can see right here is where you turn that little light on and off so if you turn that off if I touch that it'll turn that light out and disables my wireless or Wi-Fi and if I keep it on it's on it's just flashing on but it's not connected so wireless setup wizard is what you guys want to choose and what it's going to do now is search for any wireless networks or Wi-Fi in the area. This will probably pick up some of your neighbors along with your very own, you know, Wi-Fi in the house. Whatever you called your Wi-Fi or whatever name you gave it. I named mine wireless. And if you look down through the list, there's some of my neighbors' names. Of course, they're probably all secured networks. But I want to connect to mine. And I actually named mine wireless. So I'm going to go ahead and touch that to connect to my Wi-Fi. And I have to enter my passcode. Okay, so I entered my password to my Wi-Fi. And there's my network name. And there's my wireless password. Now all I need to do is touch OK. And it's going to connect. And what you should see is this light will turn solid once it establishes a connection. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you on the computer how to install the CD that came with the printer. Okay, there's the IP address that it gave it. So it made a connection and it's connected, the light turns solid. All you do is touch OK and go back to home. Now the printer is set up, it's connected to the wireless router. Now we can jump over to the computer and you can install the CD that came with your printer or you can download the software like I mentioned earlier in the video 
from the manufacturer's website from like if your printer's in HP, you'd go to HP. But let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you guys how to do this. Okay guys, so I jumped over to the computer here. I'm running a Windows 10 computer. And here is the HP OfficeJet Pro 8610 disc that came with the printer. So I'm going to go ahead and install the software onto my computer here so I can finish everything up and be able to print from the computer then to the printer wirelessly because we already set it up in, you know, with the wireless router. So I'm just going to double click here and go ahead and click on the disk to start the installation. Some of you may have yours pop up automatically for you where it'll start the installation, but I should get something on the screen here in a minute. And then we'll just go ahead and install the HP software. The other way you can do this is, like I said, we can go to HP's website and actually uh, download the software as well if you don't have the disk. So it says there your printer is prepared if it's turned on, ink is installed, and all that stuff. Now it's time to get the uh, software installed. So I'm going to click continue. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to go ahead and customize my selections because I'm not sure. Product improvement study for HP, I don't want that installed. This other stuff I will leave. HP Office Pro 86 Help, I don't want that installed. So this is just you, you know, can customize what you want installed before you click next because then it will install the stuff. So I'm good with all that stuff. Let me see what this is. What you have to do to get past this is check mark this box down there. That's just your software end user agreements and all that stuff. Now that should start the uh, installation. HP OfficeJet Pro printers are actually really nice, but sometimes the software takes a little while, a while, a little while to install. Okay, so at some point during your installation when you're installing the software, you're going to get two connection options here. And obviously you want to choose the one that says wireless make a wireless connection to the printer and select next. And what that's going to do is check the network and that's checking the router to see if there's a connection. And there's that IP address again that we saw on the printer earlier. So what I want to do is make sure I highlight that just by clicking on it and then click next. And now that's going to finish the installation here and gather information it needs and set everything up. And of course, you will get some new icons there, like over here on your desktop for, you know, once this is done installing the software. So here it's configuring everything. Okay, so now it gathered more information. Here's where you can set up your fax, but I'm not going to set up a fax, so I'm just going to click skip on that one. I think you have to choose in home. You probably do have to punch in your, in order to get the next uh, little tab there to open up. I guess you have to put in your um, postal code there. So go ahead and do that and just click next. And then it'll finish setting up. I hear the printer over there doing some stuff now. So it is communicating with the printer. And I'm almost ready to be done here to activate my printer. And that's pretty much it. So there's some options for you to look at as far as setting up or saving on ink, which I'm not interested in. So I'm just going to click out of that. Now it did print something already, so I know that it was communicating. Let's just print something to make sure that the printer is actually working. The printer is working. File, print, and there it is on the network. If I click print in a second here, it should print. And this is just another advertisement. I'm going to tell it no thank you. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes. So there, my the printer just printed. And yes, the printer is working. So there, it is all set up wirelessly, and I should not have any more issues. Now, if you guys want to, if you don't have the disk, 
and something happens, you lose it, and you need to download the software, you can go to HP, go to Google and type in HP support, and then go ahead, come down here where it says HP drivers and downloads, and you'll get to this page right here, and you can type in HP Office Jet Pro, and then your model number of your printer, and then over here you can choose which one yours is. This is the one we just did everything for. So there is my printer. And then it already knows the software that's available for my printer is Windows. Of course, Microsoft Windows 10. So it's already selected for the correct operating system. You can click change and choose whatever operating system you have here in the list. Like if you have 8, 7, XP, you guys get the idea there. But since I have Windows 10 computer, it's already on Windows 10. You just come down to this link here where it says this is the all-in-one printer series full uh, feature software and drivers. And you just simply click download. And then once you, you, know, you download that to your computer, that is basically the same thing as the CD that we just ran through the computer. Let me go in and show you real quick. If I go into my PCs, into my printers... There I have it. I already made a folder for it. But here's the download that downloads. And if I double click this, it's the same difference as me putting the CD in there. So I'll just show you here what happens. So you can either do it this way or you can either do it using the CD. And if you don't have the CD, then you can just do it this way. But this is the most up-to-date version because like I said, that disc will sit in that box uh, while that printer sitting on the shelf at the store and there you go that's the same difference as installing the cd so basically that's where i'm going to leave everything guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please share it please like it uh, if you guys haven't you can subscribe to my channel uh, thanks a lot guys for watching you have a good one